Hey coaches, welcome to my YouTube channel. Perfect play football system is what we're going to discuss. National Chili Day, one of my favorite days in the world. Today we're going to talk about using compressed formations. Specifically, we're going to talk about the passing game out of compressed formations. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, bang that bell for those notifications. So let's get into the video. Compressed formations, passing game, and specifically we're going to talk about the flood out of compressed formations. But first, what are compressed formations? Okay, let's take a look here at a basic spread formation. Uh, we have a running back in the pistol formation here. It doesn't matter. It could be in flat back, but we're just in a simple two by two, no tight end, no full back. Everyone spread out normal, basic two by two spread formation. So let's see what we can do next with that. If we wanted to compress the formation, we're basically just going to squeeze down the alignment of all of our receivers. So we have, we maintain the basic alignment of our linemen, whatever that may be, two feet, two and a half, whatever, whatever you're doing. But we have basically about a yard split with the, between the tackle and the split in on both sides. And then the uh, slot will just basically align in the middle between the tackle, just as basic rule between the tackle and the split in. So that's as simple as it can get for a compressed formation. How about a trips formation? This is an example of a normal spread trips formation. If we want to squeeze everyone down, compress everyone down, then we line up basically the same way. Now we'll get a little bit wider with this split in and trips. And then we, we put our two slots in the middle there between the tackle and the split in. On the back side, we still have that, maintain that one yard split between the tackle and that uh, split in there. Here we have an example of a compressed formation where to the trip side we have uh, compressed the split in down, probably about a two yard split between the tackle and the split in and our two slots in the middle is like a trips formation. Uh, you can bunch it up. I just keep it this way so that no rules change no new learning changes we have to work on the timing of releases uh, but everything basically stays the same on the back side here we have a, a a a regular split by our split end to the back side he could be to the field it could be to the boundary doesn't really matter but here we have a, we, a compressed formation to the trips regular split on the back side All right, so here we have a compressed formation to the uh, front side. This would be kind of like a flood route, then, which is what I was going to share with you today, a flood route. Um, and we have a compressed formation front side and partially on the back side with the slot compressed, but the split end on the other side, on the back side, he's in his regular split. So, and we have the, the running back in a, in a flat back position. He could be in pistol. It doesn't really matter what you do with him. Um, if you want to sprint out, he would be part of the sprint blocking scheme, um, whatever you have going on. The great thing about these compressed formations, this receiver can run this route to this side of the formation without going through any motion, without showing anything to the defense. If you have a defense that is playing man-to-man -man coverage, the compressed formations are perfect for you. Um, on the snap, or if you want them to leave in like one-step motion, if you're a wing T guy and you understand what one and three-step motion, but he, instead of coming towards the backfield, he's going flat. 
Um, he just right before the snap, he will get basically one or two steps in. The ball will be snapped as he's going across. Um, the sooner it's snapped, the better because it doesn't give anything away. And then during the snap, he just flattens it out basically and runs the flat route in the flood. So you can work out any type of scheme you want to with these receivers. I have the outside receiver, the split end running the go route. He could run a corner if you wanted to put him to the field. Um, the slot running like a 12-yard to 15-yard out. And then this backside slot on the snap or just before the snap, he gets about one step in and then he comes across the formation and then he runs a flat route. So there you kind of have your flood principles uh, and, and the way it would look there. You got your high, you got your medium and you got your shallow routes uh, to the front side. You could sprint out towards this. You could use it as a drop back. If they over rotate the secondary towards the flood, then, of course, you got your backside route that you can throw uh, with that. But it is a very simple concept. If you're getting man-to-man -man coverage, the compressed formations are your answer to being able to get a receiver across the formation to run this route without uh, giving it away. So you can see if his defender is lined up here covering him man-to-man, -man, and on the snap he goes across behind the line of scrimmage, this defender now has to fight through all of this trash to cover him on the other side. If you if you went back to the old spread look and motioned him all the way across, he could run with him. He could pop back into the uh, secondary as a safe free safety. The free safety could pop down. All of those things could happen, uh, and you really don't gain an advantage. But with this you gain a tremendous advantage very quickly by getting three receivers and a flood concept. You get them out very quickly into the routes, into the patterns, uh, and that gives you a chance to, to attack uh, defensive secondaries with a high, medium, and low route with a very simple post on the backside for over-rotation towards the flood. So I hope you enjoyed the video. My time is up here. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, bang that bell for those notifications. National Chili Day. We have the greatest job in the world, coaching the greatest game in the world. Magnify those blessings each and every day. Please don't forget to bang that bell.